What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. In today's video, I wanted to take a moment to talk about a feature that was actually released in 4.5.3. I really wanted to do a video to showcase it. It's kind of a, a bug fix, I guess you could say, but it slipped my mind. So we're in 4.5.5 as of the time that I'm doing this video. But if we go back to the 4.5.3 release notes, you may have seen no input metering during record with tape style and disabled monitoring. Okay, let's hop over. I've got uh, two versions of Studio One open. I've got 4.5.2 and I've got 4.5.5. In Studio One, the way that we disable software monitoring is by clicking this wrench icon and making sure that monitoring mutes playback tape style is disabled. Now what this does is that it means that you have to do your monitoring through another application. So in this case, you would simply record enable your track and then we can see that we have our metering. Now we have this metering when our transport is stopped and the track is record enabled. So this would be for anybody who's using an external software application to do your monitoring. So if you're running an Apollo, that would be Universal Audio's console application or any other third-party interface like RME or Apogee or really anything, Focusrite, they all come with their own software. In Presonus, we have Universal Control. And if I click the Studio 192 tab, you can see that this is how Universal Control looks. Lots of different companies have their own software mixer. And what that allows you to do is get an extremely low latency monitor mix, where you can essentially merge any tracks that you're record enabled, and then you can listen to your DAW output as well, but you get to do it with low latency. The big problem though, I don't think this was an issue in version two, but it was somewhere in version three, it went away, is that if I was to record enable this track, and then if I was to actually engage record, let's zoom in a little bit here. As I record enable, you can see that I'm recording something right now. We have the audio waveforms that are being rendered, but we don't have any input metering in terms of the levels that I'm recording. Now, if you set your record level ahead of time, it's not too much of a big deal, but it is something that a lot of people express concern about. So let's hop over to 4.5.5 now. And like I said, this change was introduced in version 4.5.3. Do the same thing here in my uh, options over here, I have monitoring mutes playback tape style disabled, which means that essentially we have disabled any monitoring that's happening from the DAW and we need to do it in something else like a software application or a recording console or something like that. Now, if I record enable this, you'll see that I have the input levels that are coming in. But the difference here is that, let's zoom in a little bit, if I push record, you'll notice that my input monitors have not disappeared as I'm recording. So now as I'm recording this performance that I'm actually monitoring through universal control, which is a separate application altogether, I'm still seeing my recording levels that are coming into Studio One. And then of course, if I press stop, I can see my record levels coming up because the track is record enabled and we are still seeing the input meters. So for anybody who's using an Apollo, for anybody who's using any other interface where you're relying on a low latency software mixer to do your monitoring and you are frustrated that you lost your input level metering during record mode with your track record enabled, this has been reinstated as of version 4.5.3. So. Anyways, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.